let's get started. So I'm in Xtool Creative Space and um, for the engravement, I actually used my dad's handwriting. And so I'm gonna show you how to use an image and then go from there. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to click on this image button. We're gonna open up and I've got downloads. So right here, I want to scale it to fit on the canvas and then immediately I need to just switch it. So this is a picture of my dad's handwriting and um, the words are reporting for pacer. So what, when I was doing it, I was trying to find words or letters that were together. So for example, four right here is a great place to start. So you're gonna click on edit image and then I'm gonna crop it. So I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna just take the four and then click check and then it goes like that. So now I'm gonna just go a little bit closer up so you can see. So this is the four and then we're gonna come in here and it's like the magic eraser kind of thing where it's going to take out the background. So I'm gonna click and basically just take out the background everywhere. And now I'm gonna actually gonna use actual eraser and come and erase everything that I don't need. I don't believe I need that. So really all I want is the four. Trying to be as careful as possible. You can change the size of that and make it a little bit smaller or you can make it bigger however you want. So now that I have that, I'm gonna come down here, click save and then I gotta zoom back out. And here is our four. So I can size it however I want and yeah. Um, so I'm not gonna, so I go through that process over and over again. So I have the four, then I come back over, do the exact same thing. and then edit it and I find, so like right here, ING, I need ING. So I'm gonna go up here and do ING kind of thing. So I did that over and over again until I got what I needed. So let me show you. So all from that picture, I was able to piece together the words reporting for PACER. So here are the little pendants. Um, they're nice and flat on the back, so now I'm just going to put them into the machine. Um, I am making several of these, so I'm going to just show you how to do multiple at a time. Open it up, you put them in and try to just make them as straight as you can. Alright, close the lid and it showed up so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to size this to fit so i'm just going to pick one and go to it once again going to zoom in so i can really see what i'm doing all right so there it is now that I've got one, I'm going to copy and paste and just start filling in the other ones. So as you can see, this one's a little crooked. So I'm gonna move it like that. Bring this one.
go and select them all stainless steel necklace you can auto measure them but i've already done that so i'm not going to engrave push process start button let it go It is done. Let's check them out. They all look so good. All right. Now that they are done, let's get them out. So I did seven at a time. They all look really good. There it is. And there's my dad's handwriting on the back. Now all I have to do is just attach a necklace or a keychain.